The morning commute is never fun, right? But today, demonstrators are making things even worse. Now, we've been following this for you all morning here. An environmental group has blocked traffic in several areas around Boston. We're monitoring this situation. Let's go live to Nick Giovanni. He's in the seaport. Nick, you've been there since the start of this this morning. Where do things stand right now? <laughs> Liam, I can tell you half of the bridge is currently blocked here right now on Seaport Boulevard, the side leading to the Seaport from the Financial District. This group has been here since 8.20 this morning. It does look like they're coming together again to potentially march once again here. We did follow them as they marched here from Post Office Square, about half a mile away, at times on the sidewalk, but for a few blocks, the group moved onto the street on their way down Atlantic Avenue with state police following behind. They say they're trying to raise attention to what they describe as a climate emergency rallying against new fossil fuel infrastructure in Massachusetts by disrupting business as usual in Boston, as they put it. We have trained police liaisons um, whose responsibility is to communicate with the officers for us. So they just make sure that um, no one here is doing anything that's an arrestable offense. Um, we assured you know, folks who are coming to this protest that this was not going to be something they could be arrested for. So we make sure that the police liaisons are communicating with the officers here so that everyone is being safe, no one is breaking any laws, and they just make sure that we're all on the same page. So we are going to hang out here, we're going to hold the bridge, and then um, when we feel like we've made our point, we've made our statement, folks will be free to go home. Now, I have not seen any arrests here at this scene along Seaport Boulevard, but around 8 o'clock this morning, state police confirmed they made five arrests on the ramp from Leverett Circle to 93. Another group on Summer Street cleared out around 8 a.m. Back live, you can see the group on the move here once again at Seaport Boulevard. The plan was, according to organizers here on scene, to stay for about an hour. They've done so for about 43 minutes and again are back on the move. State police say it's BPD's call just how long they could stay. So we're going to continue following this march here and see how it does impact traffic along the way. For now, we'll send it back to you guys, though, in studio.